we're always reading out of uh, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse number 12. And uh, many of you have asked, uh, when you look uh, there, you'll see uh, the lowercase d and the uppercase r. Many of you have asked, well, where does that come from? What does that really mean? And the Lord, uh, I'm, you know me, I'm just, I'm just real sort of uh, honest about it. Uh, initially when I did it, um, I did it because it looked good. And uh, it just made people look at it. Y'all yeah, ain't, ain't feeling me tonight or what? Y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, see, that's why preachers don't tell the truth because y'all won't. You know, you know. <laughs> so initially, yeah, initially it wasn't spiritual at all. It just looked good. And, uh, but as, as time went on, the Lord said, no, this, this, I, God said, this is my church. I got this. And he took me to Isaiah 58, uh, uh, verse number 12, chapter 58, verse number 12, where it talks about, uh, and they that be of thee shall be the repairer of the breach. If you look there, uh, it's a capital R, that repairer, restorer, uh, if you see that. Um, and that's where we get that from. But Holy Spirit led me to read back a few verses, and he said to read this to encourage you. Um, thank you, Holy Ghost. And the Lord kept saying to me, he said, encourage the saints because a lot of you have been discouraged because you found yourself in a drought season. And I've been declaring this for the last couple of weeks that the drought is over. But the Lord told me to encourage you with this. Verse number 11, he says, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your, y'all ain't talking to me, y'all got it? And satisfy your soul in drought. He says, and strengthen your bones, and you shall be watered, or you shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Oh, God, y'all got to hear this tonight. Let me read it again. I'm going to preach it Sunday, but let me just read it. And when you go home for the next couple of days, just kind of read it and meditate on it and let the Lord speak to your heart about it. But he says, I'm going to satisfy your spirit. You're so in dry. I know that your flesh wasn't satisfied. I know that outwardly you looked at a lot of stuff that was going on in your life and you said, this is a mess. Something got to happen. Something got to change. But if you think about it, God was satisfying your soul the entire time. Because God's got to get you to a place where even though you're going to have stuff, he's got to get you to a place where stuff don't even matter. Well, you know, I've been saying, y'all know I've been saying this. I'm real redundant about stuff because some of y'all still ain't got it. Some of y'all still move by stuff. Y'all ain't going to talk to me, but I know, I'm in the, I know I'm in the right church. Some of y'all still move by stuff. And God said, I want to, if, you, if you're going to be verse number 12, if you're going to be verse number 12, you got to be verse number 11 first. Look at somebody say, first things first. First things first. You, you got to learn how to allow God to satisfy your soul. And look, I know maybe y'all ain't heard nobody say it like this in church, but I believe that God is going to give you the desires of your heart. That there are some things that you see. You, I, I'm declaring you will get your shine on. I'm, I'm declaring it. You're going to get your bling on. You're going to get your shine on. But before you get to verse number 12, before you get to these other things, you got to learn how to allow your soul to be satisfied in drought. That even though I'm in a drought season, my soul is satisfied. Even though there's some things that I still desire in my flesh, some things that I still don't have, and yeah, it would be easier if I had this, or it would be easier if I had that. God said, I got to get you to a place where your soul, when you get to the point where the old folk used to say, I'm happy with Jesus alone. I'm in the house, I'm laying in this bed by myself, ain't nobody calling me, ain't nobody emailing me, ain't nobody instant messaging me, but I'm happy with Jesus alone. Y'all ain't going to talk to me right now, but I know I'm talking real good. He says, I'm going to satisfy your soul. Woo! Look at somebody say, is your soul satisfied yet? Is your soul? Because if your soul is not satisfied yet, that word may not be for you. Because it's not until your soul gets satisfied that God can deliver you from a drought. Okay, I just said something. I ain't the teacher tonight, but I'm... Come on, look at somebody ask him, is your soul satisfied? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
You know what I just heard? This is very carnal, but I know I just heard this in my spirit. I heard the Lord say, let your soul glow. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all, 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 I know, I know. I, I, you know, I'm sorry. Pray, pray for me. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having these real carnal examples, but, you know, well, y'all carnal just like me, so we, we all are here together. Yeah, let your soul glow. Y'all know what I'm talking about? That's what, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all go home and watch it tonight. It's all good. Come on over to my house. I got it on DVD. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. As a, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, some, some of you, some of you, you weren't ready for companionship because your soul wasn't glowing. Your soul wasn't glowing. That's why, that's why you, you, oh God, I'm getting all off on something else, but God got me on this tonight. That, that's why you have dates and, and it just, it just, it just wouldn't quite curl, wouldn't click. Something wouldn't happen because, because your soul ain't glowing yet. Your soul ain't glowing yet. God said, I'm going to satisfy your soul first. Yeah, I got some stuff for you. I, you know, I got a boo for you, but your soul ain't glowing yet. Yeah, I got a business for you. I got, you know, I got plans for you. I'm, I'm going to prosper you. You ain't going to be working in corporate America all your life. or You ain't going to be putting on Monster.com and submitting resumes. All, I got something for you. But first, I got I to gotta teach you how to be satisfied in your soul when your flesh is still thirsty. Woo, Jesus. So I'm going to satisfy you in your soul. Lift up your hands now. I believe God is doing something right now. Who am I? I'm talking to about 12 of y'all, I know. Lift up your hands and God is saying, I'm about to shift you into a place where the only thing that you are going to desire is me. You got to get there. That's why I couldn't finish this message. Because if I would have finished this message, the grace would have been gone and some of y'all would have missed it. Lift up your hands now. Father, satisfy my soul. Come on, let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Let some things you will not crave after tonight because God is going to satisfy your soul. Huh? You think it's a craving in your flesh. It's really a craving in your soul. Lift up your hands and, and pray this prayer. Father, satisfy my soul. Sharabo shandaraba. Woo! Satisfy my my soul and 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 then strengthen my bones. Huh? Give me give, ah, yeah, bring strength to my bones where I'll be able to stand up and say, no. Satisfy my soul and strengthen my bones. And then I'll be like a watered garden. <laughs> Hear this last verse, y'all. Hear this last verse. And like a spring of water, whose waters do not fail. Woo! Somebody lift up your hands and say, I will never be thirsty again. I'll never be thirsty again. The, Lord, the Lord's writing this song in my spirit, Tasha. I don't know if it's for your record or for my next one. But the lyric says... I don't want to be thirsty for anything that turns you away. I don't want to be any, I don't want to be thirsty for anything that makes you want to hide your face. I'm gonna be like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. In other words, when when I get in that place where I think I'm about to go back to my old self, my waters will spring up. <laughs> Yeah, so you've been thirsty for stuff because your water's been failing. Mm. Lift up your hands now. There's a grace on this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's a grace on this house. There's a grace on this house. That's why we got to teach you how to pray and to pray right tonight so that your waters don't fail. Come on, say it, Father, don't let my waters fail. But let me be like that, 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 that spring of water. Let me be like, come on, pray it. Let me be like that spring of water that, whoo, 